Hey up everyone, and welcome back to the north of the next episode of War Tales on Expert Difficulty with your probable favourite deserters, the Dees Herters. So last episode we did go and investigate the Vitruz province quite a bit more. We actually finished part of the scenario already, which is a pretty damn good start. We have figured out that really the Vitruz province is about as difficult as the county of Artes in terms of like enemy composition and light levels so i think this will kind of by the time we get to the end of the the truce province and the scenario i feel like we'll get at least everyone to level six probably and maybe we'll see like a few level seven sort of like creeping up we did sort out the scenario here i am going to quickly go and sort out these so i can make a quick book because we are in a little bit low on money so i guess we are going to start this episode with a rat infestation i'm going to discover the tomb of the ancients but i'm not going to do it yet um, and then we're going to walk down this way to go and talk to the woman about the two kids who tried to find a mythological creature using a pig as a sacrifice. Which didn't work, by the way, to nobody's surprise. I mean, I think I'm going to go up this way to go to the beach to go and find that wolf. And maybe then come back down to Johan Mullen's vineyard and maybe get involved with another part of the scenario. There's going to be quite a lot to discover. We've only discovered a third of this province so far. We're, we're at full of this, so I'm not too worried about that. I think the only thing is, do I have enough torches? Do I have any torches, actually? I've got one. I've got a solid one torch. Uh, I guess I did use that to uh, burn down the mole rat nest, like, underground. Which, uh, it was for a good cause, and we, we did get Rufus in the interim, but it does mean we don't have any torches. Can I make any torches? What do I need? It's always grease with you guys, isn't it? It's always grease. Well, lucky for you, I can make at least one more, right? Nope! Okay. In that case, screw it. We're destroying the infestation in the old-fashioned way. In which I mean absolutely beat it into submission until it can't do anything anymore. I am going to quickly go and walk over here, though, and find this Tomb of the Ancients. I assume it's down this little pathway. I would imagine I've got a light water down here to find it. It's pretty cool that it's, like, on water. I think that's really interesting. Come on. Show it to me. Although, I will quickly nip in there, just in case there is a torch salesman. Because there was one at the Tiltrum one, but I don't know if that was just because it was a tutorial one. Give me a torch salesman. Eh. Uh, no. And, are you a torch salesman? I'm trying to get in. Okay, well, I'll help you at some point, but we'll, uh, we'll come back at some point soon. I do like the tombs. They are, like, a really cool addition to the game. They said there was only, like, what, one in the early access? So I'm glad that every region, like, has one now. But I'm aware of. Um, so that'll be nice to head back to at some point. Hell, I might even come back and do it today if I, if I feel like I'm, I'm not finding anything else. But let's crack on. Let's quickly destroy that right infestation. It'll give us more teeth as well. I heard a bad noise. Oh, fine. Give me a second. To be fair, this would be a perfect time to get the pig and call it Hammy and try and unlock that uh, bard song. So I guess we could do that. Uh, also, I feel like you do get grease from killing animals, but I uh, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. There is a lot of them going on, though, so you want to be a little bit careful there. This was not my plan for the start of today, by the way, just to, just to clarify that. All right, that one's going nowhere anyway. That one doesn't matter. You're going to be the first main problemo. Where's my girl? There she is. Right then, start as we mean to go on, I guess. It's not quite how I was planning to go on, but hey. Crack on already. I, I ain't got time to mess. Well, I do have time to mess, but I'd rather just, you know, kill him. You were lucky this time, pigs. Not so much that time. Well... Having to start this fight day off with some animal killing is not what I expected. It would be great if they were ghost ones, but they ain't, so... But that's okay. And getting a dominant sow would be quite good, because they're quite high level. The only thing is, I don't know if a dominant sow counts as, like, the pig that I could call, like, hammy. I, I guess we could see. I guess we could see. Alright, crack on. You, can't, you ain't going nowhere, so that's grand. Then it's you who's next. So, in that case, let me do this, this, and then pull back. This might or might not work because they might not be close enough. They might go for Stomper instead. We'll see. They also might be absolutely fine. Who actually knows? Uh, you're going to be too stuck in so you can't move anyway, and you're then going to be the next problem. Okay, so you're the next problem. Rogar, off you go. Get me a smackaroni and get me some more points, please. Well, you got me a... You know what? You can use it. I'll let you use it. I mean, you got me a point again, so fine. 
Go on, go for it. You know you want to. Very nice. Although it is almost dead, so I won't be using that dominant sow. That didn't stop you. Oh. I was expecting that to stop you. That's kind of awkward. So, uh, let me just, uh, get rid of this quickly. Get out of here. And then, arterial position would be good, but I bet that dominant sow would be able to... Oh, no, I don't think it would. Go on, give it a whirl. Go on, Arcade. Show him how to do it. Yeah, go on, my son. Whoa, you've got an ability I wasn't expecting you to have. Oh, how the turns table. Very quick. Very, very quick. Okay, in that case, Elet, can you shoot through, like, three pigs? If you, can you do me a favor and just shoot through, like, all three of them? Oh, you know, four of them if you want to. Just three. It's just the three. Fine. Pretty decent. Pretty decent. Well, I'll either kill that one or I'll hurt that one. I guess I'll take hurting that one. You know what? Fine. And it's vulnerable, so I'll also take it. Right, what one's next? That boar. Can I lock it down with anything? This is not how I was expecting today to go at all, but this is fine. Give me the point back, please. And smack again. That should be fine. It's weakened. I wouldn't worry. But you think you're going? You're going to give me no point. You're going to give me no point for, for leaving. So you've got a lot of that going on. Not too worried about that. Although I could do this, actually, now that I think about it. Go for a cheeky run. Cheeky run. Right, so you've got to slow down now. You're not really going to be able to move all that much, but that's okay, because I'm going to get you involved, and that will give me the point back anyway. You might end up going to do something else. God, why, why are pigs such a pain? All right, I get it. We've both got repost. What are you going to do about it? Apparently not much. I think you might end up coming in here. So, Radonis, if you could be a deer. Be a deer, would you? Yeah, that is one way to be a deer. And then can you throw it through, like, all of them? I'll take the double kill. I'll take the double kill. Although we have a kind of open call up to take him more damage. But he's a big lad. He can tech it. Oh, no. You went for Radonis. Ballsy of you. So, next on the chopping block. Right, well, you're now technically... Maybe I can grab this one. Can I grab this one? Apparently not. You are surrounded by, like, all of us. So I thought that might be the case. Maybe I've got a wiki. Don't hurt your friends. You know you're not supposed to do that. Don't do it. There you go. Bit better. Bit better. Guess i got to, like, weaken it down a little bit. Go on, go for Duchess. She can handle it. Or do Tetris? It's kind of like Tetris. Okay, fine. This is fine. And then it's that boar there. Femoris, if you would see the play, it's not going to set him on fire. To be fair, we should be able to deal with the rats pretty easily because of this. And we're going to have so many teeth after this that I hope I actually do find the hunters in this area because we should be able to buy some stuff and not just steal it. I mean, I might still steal something, you know, just to keep it going, keep it fresh. But it would be nice to avoid stealing. Because it's sometimes bad. Alright? Sometimes, not all the time. So, if you go, like, here... Will the hammer strike hit them both? I feel like it will, because it's like a massive range. Come on, come on, come on, you can do it. Just crit that one once and it'll die. Little disappointing, but you gave yourself your own point, so I kind of have to give you that, at least. There you go, buddy. Not terrible. Not terrible. I'd force it to be weakened, but I, I can't do it, Captain. What's the rollout gonna do? If you give it repost. Right, Rufus better not die in, like, the first fight. Please don't. Uh, bonk it. Knock it out. Success rate 69. That didn't quite work, did it? Woof. I can hit both of those with the poison, though. But unfortunately, it ain't gonna cut it, mate. So I think I'm gonna have to kill it, otherwise it'll kill Rufus. It might just kill Rufus anyway, because uh, I can't get it out. Boy, howdy. Don't you dare kill my mole rat. I just got it. I don't want to go and get a new one. I like this model. To be fair, when we level up the mole rat as well, there is actually an ability that makes it immortal, which I think is kind of insane. Oh, clutch stomper. Clutch. Yes, we killed the pig. It's fine. Don't worry about it. 
I can just find another one. And I will. We've got loads to choose from. Oh, yeah. I forgot about a riposte. Eh. It ain't a thing. Don't worry about it. Right. Can we knock this one the F out now? Get like... Oh, you're kind of stuck where you are. Okay. Tell you what. Come here. Let's just clear out the map a bit. You didn't really get a point for that, did you, buddy? But what you could do is you could help Cora out and she might like you more. Ooh. Mm, or not. Or the the second option. Okay, Stomper's taking names. Can can we can we make a store song about Stomper being an absolute menace of a horse? No. Men nay sus. No, it doesn't work, is it? I'll uh Right, try and knock that one out. Did we get it? Okay, good. And you will be christened Hammy. Whether you like it or not. Okay, seal that one, please. Ouch. Someone say unnecessary. I would say perfectly valid. At least it's attacking, like, the most armored up person in the world, you know? And they died. So... Yarman, let's see if we can get your reputation up a little bit with some people by helping them out here and there. It might work, it might not work. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. No, it's going to be a computer says no for me. But we killed them all. And we did get a boar. Great stuff. And also I got a bit of grease. Perfect, I can actually make some torches now. I'm fine with that stuff. Let's quickly repair. Nobody got really injured. Hello, boar. I guess I've got to call you Hammy. I don't really want to call you Hammy. But um, I'm going to just so I can get my song done. Great. Um, you're injured. That's fine. I'll fix that up. You're level 7. Are you weirdly the first level 7 thing we've got just because I found you? Damage taken reduced. This unit can now be slaughtered for me. I mean, I'm not going to. So, damage taken. What does that say? The beast eats the remains, which reduces its food con... No, 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 no. Fix skin. And then unit can be assigned to the campfire. Okay. Carrying capacity increased by 20. You know what? Campfire. And then let's go strength. Uh, I don't really need the critical hits, so let's just go strength again. And then let's go constitution. It's a lot of constitution, but it is a pig after all. Good lord. Right, movement, yes. Are we still going? Okay. 39 con. Damn. Shame I can't give... Shame is no, like, pig armor. That'd be quite a thing. I really need to get someone who can uh, take charge of animals. So I think the next person that we need to get is one of the, um, rain not rangers, archers that has that ability. But that is who I'm looking for next, which we might be able to do with the next thing we got with the knowledge last time, where it was the, what was it called? Human resources. Yes, we've hired HR to try and find us our next archer. Right, well, quickly, before we actually go into the right infestation then, I might as well make some torches, because why not? I'll make two. I don't want to go too crazy with it. Hammy, welcome to the campfire. I'm sure Radonis will like it very much. Has anyone got raised by, raised by boars? I feel like Sol does. No, I feel like someone did have raised by boars. It might have been Bolt, which makes me sadder, honestly. Oh, it's Rogar! So actually, tell you what, Radonis go in there. Rogar come out here. Let's get you having a great time with Hammy, eh? Raised by boars. Willpower increased by three as long as you're next to a boring camp. Cool! And then if I go here now, have a boar called Hammy, make it kill five units in a single battle. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully well. Hopefully well. I'm also going to try something and see if this works with rat infestations. I don't know if it will. It's fine. We're about to get there anyway, so don't worry about it. So I want to see if this actually makes us get more loot after a battle in a rat infestation. I don't know if it will. I don't know if it synergizes that well, but I'd rather like just try it out since our influence is technically infinite because we can just keep getting it and getting it and getting it at the end of the day. Right, torches for all. That's all fine. Here you go. You get a torch. You've already got a torch. I guess I'll give one to, like, I don't know, someone who normally has a shield. But, um, I don't really know who. I don't really know who. Probably Cora, I guess. Sure, why not? There you go. Right, then. Let's crack in as quickly as we can. We've done loads of right infestation, so the quicker we just deal with this one, the better, you know? I mean, like, what? 400 crowns is 400 crowns at the end of the day. That's a that's like a old version of like twenty quid is twenty quid, uh, right? Come hither. Where's the first one? So Ela and Stomper can probably deal with that plague infestation growth. Although 
at the same time, I always find that Cole is really good with dealing with them. So you know what, little Mole Rat? Is the Mole Rat immune to, um... Let me have a look. Are you immune to... No. I was kind of hoping it would be immune to, like, poison and stuff. But it ain't. Right then. Crack on. Ooh, what happened? What's, what's going on there? I can't actually put her... Um, I don't know if that's just me seeing that or if that's just the game broken. Okay, so I can move everyone else. Oh, it's because for some reason it spawned her inside a rat? That's weird. God, I like the game, but it's still an absolute buggy mess. You know? Kraken, as always, I just want to get some uh, guarantees that this thing can be killed when I want it to be killed. You know? Let's get started, Ela. I mean, to be fair, if there was ever a point to fire an arrow, it would be here. But I would like to play it safe and just hit this thing from a mile away. Yeah, 22 is fine. It's not quite the old, uh... Wait. 33 is also okay. It will give it... <laughs> Slow down. I mean, okay. It ain't going anywhere. Uh, right, 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 right. Fenris, do you want to come here and you want to set them all light? I, don't know. I know they'll hate it. Yeah. And then you want to just, like, decimate this one? Sure. I don't have the points for anything else, so how about you just hold there so you don't set yourself on fire yet. Unfortunately, you will get set on fire anyway, but I think you're used to it, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's fair. That's pretty fair. Can you get here without burning yourself? No, I'm seeing a... I'm seeing what's gonna happen here. Same that, you could just, like, kill it. Y yeah. Yeah, do that. And then, can you pull back without setting yourself on fire? Great stuff. Which one's next? Oh no, Stomper, you dumbass! I mean, that's kind of what I wanted him to do, to be honest. He's got this. Stomper's fine. He's fine. Who's next on the chopping block? Well, let's see if we can hit three of them. Can I hit three of them? Okay, can I angle it slightly so I can hit three of them? Nine. I'll take it, though. And then I can do this. The one bites the dust. At least I'm getting, like, the um, teeth. And I suppose I'm also technically getting food, not that we want to eat rats, but hey. It's a protein source, so you can't really complain. Said someone at one point during, like, the plague, which probably wasn't the greatest thing, but hey. The plague not being the greatest thing is probably, like, the, <laughs> the most, like, casual I could have even said that. Uh, right, Yarman, do you want to just quickly go and seal that deal off very quickly? Not the end of the world if you don't kill anything. It's more just like clearing off. Let's just go stand next to our boy Rufus. God forbid, not one damage. Okay, let's go here. I just want to make some room for Sol. Because you know what I'm going to do with Sol in a second. So don't worry about it. Oh, Blackout. Ow. We haven't really seen that used that much yet. So we should probably actually keep an eye on that going forward. Right, if you stand here, can you swing all three of them? You can. Sick. Get to it, our kids. Unfortunately, Poison Impact, as we've learned, doesn't really do any damage to the rats. But it does damage, but it doesn't do the damage over time. But if it's going to kill them, then... Sure thing, buddy. Why not? And I'll also get the point back, so it doesn't really matter. Sick. Right, Hammy. No, no, kill that one. Where are you going? Oh. I see. Also, you uh, didn't set yourself on fire, so that's impressive. Okay, got one kill. Am I actually going to do this where he's going to get all the kills? Are we doing this? I mean, it's going to be quite difficult to keep up with, like, just the amount of rats, so... It would be a good time to do it, but also... Eh, it's not the end of the world. Oh, you missed! Dumbass. Silly little rat boy. Can't even hit anything. Let's keep on spinning. Okay, the brood mother's feeling it. So, good start. Let's get the point back, please. Uh, is there any outcroppings here that we can use? Nah. I don't see shit, son. I don't see shit. Right, well, let's try and get... Cole, I'm sorry, but you're really good at this job, so... I kind of like you when you... Bloody hell. Yeah, how much damage did you just do? That was a heck ton. Right, keep walking. You'll take damage, but you'll live. I was going to say something, but I've decided not to. <laughs> And then if you'd like to galvanize, it's actually a pretty good place to galvanize, which is uh, a nice and rare thing to happen. Um, I was going to say no plague. 
because it hasn't happened in a while. But we'll see if it happens now. I swear to God, don't do it. I literally just talked about this. We talked about this. Okay, no, it's fine. Who's even left on our group? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Come on, then. Come on, then, Arcade. Let's go. Alonzi. And go. I don't actually remember the last time we got it down to, like... Oh, nice. That's good. And you got sociable. That's that's actually massive. Right, screw it then. Tell you what, I'm going for the I'm going for the gold. The Olympic diver medal. What? Don't run through the fire, you dumbass! Rufus might accidentally get himself killed. Which is a really what a way to go. He's like, I know you're a rat, you're like my cousin. But I don't like you very much. And we're all on fire. I feel like I need to give some Medicaid to Rufus now. Uh we are like straight up surrounded. Like, no, no joke, we are straight up surrounded by rats. Come on. Clean sweet, baby. Come on. You could do it. You could do it. Well, three more go to pastures new, at least. God damn, there's a lot of rats. God damn, there's a lot of rats. Is, uh, Hammy just gonna kill the broodmother? Like, accidentally? Is that what's gonna happen here? That might be what happens here. Who really knows? Can you actually reach that? You can. Okay, you're gonna risk it, buddy. Oh, God. Okay. So if I go defense stance, she'll attack one more time, right? Go into defensive mode. And then attack three times. Fabulous work, my son. Get in there. Yeah, okay, fine. You're taking some damage. You'll live. Right, what rat is next, and what can I do about it? Probably not much, honestly. There's just so many rats! So many problems. Smack it again. Just a good measure to smack it again. Oh, can you run through like a billion of them? Nice! Now, is that uh, enough for laceration? I think it might be. Sick. Good stuff. You don't have to do it again, don't worry. Not if you want. don't want to. Right, next one. Radonis. Give me a kill, please. This is probably going to be like the most um, we've gotten in, like, a fight so far, I'd say. Let's just heal up. Why not? So we're probably going to get a decent amount of teeth, surprisingly, from this fight, which I was not not expecting at all, really. Uh, who's got, like, healing? Rogar does, so you can heal up Rufus, which might need to be a thing in a second. Let me see if I can take out this one without having to really get close to it. Inconceivable? Maybe? Who's to say? 47. God damn. I mean, Lyria might be able to uh, seal it. Mayhaps? Let's find out. Come on, buddy. You can do it. He'll come damn close. Question is, can we survive for one more turn to actually just seal the deal? Remains to be seen, really, doesn't it? Right, which one's next? You're next. Let's... I... Oh, oh, you're, you're, you're straight up stuck, aren't you, bro? You're not, though, so you're gonna be a problem. Um, but I don't think I've got anyone else left. Oh, no, I do. That's a lie. Maybe angle it so we don't kill... Oh, El Brood Mother. Not yet, anyway. I, w I am curious if it's actually worth, like, how, how long it's worth keeping these going, you know? With, like, obviously you get more teeth, you'll probably get more meat. There's got to be, like, a stoppage. You can't just keep going for, like, ad infinitum. It, I imagine it's just, like, infinite rat works at one point, right? That'd be the case. I now need to heal our mole rat friend, because otherwise he will die. And it will be really dumb. Don't worry, you are now a veterinarian. Congratulations, I guess. Rufus might kill the broodmother. Like, I'm, I'm just sort of planning it, but he, he really might. So if we want to try and do this now, I don't think it's going to happen. So, I guess kill one final rat, maybe, and then that'll probably call us. At least we got two of the plague growths, so there's that. I'm just playing for the fact that our naked mole rat might actually just cinch the broodmother. So, we'll see. Ugh, I'm just gonna screw it. You know what? Seal the, seal the deal. Can't be bothered killing more rats, mate. I'm good. They're fun little things, but we do get a bit tiresome after a while, you know? Uh, Rogue I became a tormentor. You love to see it. Uh, we got 80 teeth. That's mad. Uh, plague leather, some samples, some bait. Everybody loves some rats. 
Everybody loves some rats. Anyone level up? No, nobody leveled up. Uh, we've still got quite a bit of energy as well, which I'll take. Uh, I also just got an achievement called the Rat Pack, which is uh, ha 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 ha. Very on brand. Um, let's get back, I guess. I'm going to go back this way, like I said, so I can go talk to... Actually, can I just pit on down? I mean, I could pit on down to pit on down, and then when I come back here eventually, I can go and talk to her, I guess. I fight her. Bit of a weird way to find it, but there we are. I find it funny that she's just letting us take this, so bye. You're not going to attack me to say that I just stole a book right next to you? No? Okay. Bye, then. I guess I'll be uh, on my way. I will return one day. Just not right now. Look, bandits, leave me alone. I just want to go to the stables and talk to these idiots. I am so glad to have my stable boys back. Thank you for bringing these gullible fools back in one piece. In one piece? No. Okay, thank you. Fifty? They could have died. Fifty? <laughs> nice try, buddy boy. What about you? I'll never believe a minstrel's tales again. As a minstrel being kicked out. That's fair. At least he's now gone. Uh, what's my steel ratio like? 30 60. I can live with that. Thank you. Oh, is that what we are now? We just steal wheat? Okay. Okay, guys. Right, well, it's time to camp. Apparently, it's a little bit more dangerous. There is a group just, like, hanging around kind of close to where we are. So it makes sense that it is, it is a smidge more dangerous than usual. So what I will do is... I could probably put someone on lookout who's not really doing much, I guess. Octavia, you can do that there. I did also build a gurney. I don't think I mentioned this, but I did also build a gurney because why not? Um, and it will become quite handy at some point. Although we're not really doing all that much with getting hurt. Also, also before we start the episode, Yarman became our first master. So master is the max rank. He is our first master in the entire group. And it also means the troop eats two less food, which sounds like a, a small thing. But it makes a massive difference. Like, a massive difference. So that's really great. So congratulations, Yarman. I'm sure everyone will like you eventually. Hey, Krista actually likes you. That's nice. Um, unfortunately, Cora still hates you quite a lot. So we're just going to have to live with that consequence, you know? I also think that when we get back to town and pay all this off, so we're at like 1,400 crowns, I think I am going to get the final upgrade to the tent, mainly because the max valor points are great, and we've got the stuff for it, so I really don't see why not. I could also do the meat drying rack. I guess we'll see. I've got nothing to break down here. This should be fine for the time being. Let's get camping. Let's get back to, I guess, brown rock, I suppose. And we are good. Let's keep going. I mean, there is a group there, but meh. I'd rather just get back to brown rock and get everything handed in so we've got a decent amount of money. I've got loads of stuff to sell as well, to be fair. And also, then we can see what we can build. And then I will go around this way. There's a lot more going up here. It did also mention, like, Smot Serena. I think that's, like, up this way from my very vague memory from playing the early access. But I could also be wrong. I can't remember if there was an arena in the original um, before it went full. I'm not sure. Can you remember? Let's not uh, guarantee my mind is correct on that one. Here is your reward. Thank you very much. God, look at that money. Uh, anything big that I can just take just because we're probably going to walk into it anyway? I mean, I guess it could help with the old pig keeper because that's just a random contract. I'll take the rat infestation one again just because, you know, it's just kind of like easy money at the end of the day. So, yes, I'll accept that offer. I don't want to go too crazy on this. Now, how do I put in like a HR like asking thing? In fact, I might not need to do the HR thing because I think I found someone in here who would fit. But I'm missing it by 90 influence, which I just used to do the contract so i'm gonna see what i can do about that okay i've destroyed the evidence of what i stole i i've eaten the evidence so they can't really put that on me anymore ha 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 loophole baby um i still don't have the influence i need to uh hire the person i wanted but i have figured out how to do the whole hr thing it is just here so we can actually just like put our vacancy notices which is quite cool i quite like that so it's, just, it's 250 like crowns but I say that's still overall quite useful, so we can actually start finding the people we want to. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool as well. Um, the only thing is, the bard part is currently now missing, because it used to be here. But the whole sing thing isn't here anymore, unless it's just because it's been too short of a time for us to do it again. So, I guess I'm going to go to do like a there and back again story. Um, I'll go up this way. I think this is where the wolf is. And then we'll kind of go from there. Man, I'm going to go from having like one animal to like three in no time flat. Okay, back on the road again. I will go and do like the specific contracts from those at some point. I just feel like I'm, I'm more interested in doing like, not scenario based, but stuff that's like more prevalent to our group. 
I think we're going to find more stuff going down this road. I don't need to go here again. We talked to them last episode, so they can just screw off and wait. I do have that skill mastery book to figure out who to give to in the group. To be quite honest, I can't remember the last person that we gave it to. It's been a hot minute. Hey, pick them up. Don't put them, leave them on the floor. That's wasteful. What's this? Loop Vineyard. Wants to go have a gander. Let's see what lo the loops want. If they're loopy. Oh, he found two trees. Good going, Rufus. What a great guy. You're mercenaries, right? Yes. I need your help, and I'm willing to pay. Just name your price. 1,000 crowns. My vineyard's the only healthy one left in the whole province. So I have to guard it at night in case some jealous so-and-so tries to get my crop. But I was attacked. Uh -huh. I was knocked unconscious. And if my daughter and slaves hadn't chased the rascal... Okay, you, you, you instantly just went down in my standings because you have slaves. I can deal with thieves, but murderers? That's a task for professionals like you. Do you think you could guard my vineyard at night? I'll do it, but I'm not going to do it right now. But at least I know where to come back to at least. Hello. Of course we reported the attack. The guards searched the area all day with no luck. They suggested we hire some mercenaries. Um, and you are talking to said mercenaries. I could just steal all their wine. I feel kind of bad for the slaves. I saved my mistress by pure reflex, risking my life with two months to go before I can be a free woman again. Well, at least it's a limited amount of time, but it's still not very nice. Okay, well, I'll come back to the Loot Vineyard because they've evidently got part of a scenario to go and deal with. Wouldn't mind trying to find this wolf, though, who's just, like, dossing around on the beach. Come on, little wolfie, where are you? Well, I found you a rat infestation. I'm not going to do that today, though, because we've done it more than enough for today. Ooh, what's this? It's definitely blood. Inside the chest, you find documents belonging to Lady Mayoress Beat. Oh, it seems the money was meant to fund the restoration of the Vitruvian Bridge. Is this the chest that she was... Oh! By any chance, was that the document relating to the document that we found in the chest that we were going to steal? It was going to give us, like, 200 to 400, like... This. Suspicion. Interesting. And we just we just found it anyway. Haha, <laughs> take that. Okay, evidently it might not might not be this part of the beach which the wolf appears upon. It might actually be this part of the beach that the wolf appears upon. But I'm happy just to walk around and see what's going on. I probably will end up going back here. Although they just say nighttime and it is now five in the morning, so it's a bit like, hmm, does that mean I'm gonna have to wait around until the early hours for Whoever I've got to wait for to appear, I guess. We'll see. All right, lady, we'll do it. But no, I'm not doing it for you. I'm doing it so your slaves feel safer. That's it. I can deal with thieves. Also, I said a thousand crowns. So a hundred crowns is kind of screwing me over a bit. But hey, fine, I guess. Return to the form of gladiator after complete the smart arena. Find a tamer's wolf somewhere in the trues. Go there and find out more. Blah, 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 blah. Yep. Yep. Okay, fine. I guess I'm just sort of waiting around here until nighttime. Unless this is them. Maybe. It's quite early. So they sort of just disapparated, which I imagine means that at maximum they stay around until 7 in the morning. So I guess I'm just having to... I guess I'm going to walk around this field for like 12 hours and come back when it's nighttime in the hopes we can then just sort out the scenario. Although we'll see if we have to camp by then. I don't think we will have to. I think we can probably like work around this. Although there is something I can inspect there. If it lets me click it. Come on. Did I hit it? Silk glove, I'll take it. Oh, more pitons. Oh, man, the fact that we get pitons everywhere is just great. Okay, well, let's keep on trucking. Our fatigue is kind of holding pretty firm, so it should be right. And God, the amount of mushrooms that, like, just exist in this place. What's that down there? Massive castle, is it? Oh, we're not really. God, so hang on. So there's two, there's two villages and, like, a big old castle that's just around the corner. That's wild. Are they here? Yeah, I'm kind of bored of waiting. I know that 1,600 hours isn't exactly late, but come on now, I've got other stuff to do. Okay, now it's technically night time, so this would be the time that they just rock up and appear, right? Surely. I've just got to go run around and find the idiots, I, I would assume. But with some ghost, ghost things there, don't care too much about dealing with that just yet. I'd just rather... Aha! Hello. Please be, please be right. Hey, looks like the old loop woman hired some mercenaries. What a surprise! If only we hadn't called in more men! And how many men do you have? Hmm, so let me get this straight. You've got seven people, you're level four, and you're this cocky. This is gonna go down really well for you guys. I might see if we can do this one where Hammy kills everyone, but I also... Well, we'll see. We'll see. 
There is a fair amount of them, but I suppose you do... How much damage do you do? 19. Well, it kind of works, but I don't know. Like, we just need to do so much more damage than that. And by, by that time, we also just absolutely wipe the floor with them, so they're already kind of dead. Well, let's crack on them. Might as well, as we mean to go on. Go into defensive stance. Just crack through. Eh, uh, you know what? No, use that point. Kill him. Man, it's so brutal that you're hiding it behind the bushes. Look at that crazy looking hat as well. It's like an Inquisitor, like, witch hunter hat. From, like, American colonization sort of thing. Well, he's dead now, so... It could be our hats. Maybe. We'll see. Next. I don't think we're seeing a kill by our, our piggy friend. I think they're mostly going to be dead before they even get a chance. I mean, they're level fours. I don't know what they expected. They had some balls thinking that they could just take us on like this. Well, surprise, assholes. You cannot do that. Although that's going to kind of get in the way a bit. Can you go there? Row the pumpkin. Because we don't see that happen that much. Yeet. It's kind of funny. And then run. Run, run, run as fast as you can. Hit him. I'll take it. And why not? Why not? Spending Valor Points helps with the whole knowledge thing anyway. No, no. I know they're going to be easy as all hell to beat, but I might as well get some gear out of it. I'll be at the level 4, so this should be very quick. I'm starting to see that this scenario and all the scenario points for this area are going to be pretty easy, generally speaking. Oh, it won't be hard, anyway. Right, come on, then. Come on, come on, baby. I mean, Jet's old. Bloody hell, you are lucky. Eh, I don't know if I'd say lucky anymore, but uh, Octavia had a bone to pick with you. Turns out the bone was the uh, bone holding your jaw together. Sorry, or the bones holding your jaw together. I'm not a doctor. Right. Who's next? Sentry the Defiance. Let's go. I don't think he's going to die. I probably wish he did. Um, no, we're good. Run back. He's going to come and do something stupid. He's going to probably bleed out. Got a bit eight damage. All right, I always forget about the shield bash. Is he going to save you? Not really. Not really. If only I could, like, make it so Stomper and, you know, all the other animals went, like, first. Then we might have a chance that Hammy actually does loads of damage. But uh, in the case of it is... Not really. Not really. It is what it is. Like, at one point we will do it. I mean, I could technically take Hammy back to, like, the first area, I guess. It'd be a little bit boring, though. Although I do have the traveling post. I just need to build it inside uh, the trues now, which I will do at some point. But this guy doesn't stand a chance in hell. None of them did. They never did. We just had to tell themselves that. Oh, God. Looks painful. I mean, I'm impressed that you're still alive. I'll give you that. Uh, I can't reach there. Let's just go there and get a point. There's not really much else to say on this now. Clean up time. I mean, it was always it was always clean up time. Chris hasn't even had a go yet. Go on. Strut your stuff. And time for some revenge for getting hit. I would say. God, even just one hit. These guys never stood a chance. All right, just, just skip through. Unless Rufus just, like, beelines. I mean, yes and no. Like, it's nothing I'd really write home about. It was fine. Can I shoot this guy without shooting anyone else? Yeah. Look, Hammy's not getting much far. Although his movement isn't actually too bad, but he's not getting very far. All right, well, let's just crack on then. No, don't hit Rufus. Oh, yeah, I kind of forgot about the hit you, hit me. Knowing me, knowing you. Right, somebody just clear this guy. Cl clear this guy's clock, will you? Thank you. Coming through. And last but not least, goodbye. Well, that felt like a bit of a waste of time, didn't it? The County of Artez has made us way too powerful. Not that I'm complaining that much. But it seems to be a running thing. Is anyone kind of close to leveling at all? I think it's going to be a while before anyone hits level 7, I'd imagine. Although, not far off, like 500 is not bad. 
level six. Uh, I guess it would be like Skullord, who's level five, almost level six. Remember when it was taking absolutely forever to get to level six, and now we're basically all level six? Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? You're only just level five, to be fair. Don't know about um, Octavia. How's she doing? Yeah, part way in. That's fine. Ah, well done. What a bloodbath. Now that they are all dead, how will I know why they attacked my vineyard? I mean, you didn't ask for that part. Do you want to sleep in these fields for the rest of your life? Uh, no, because you don't own me. For my family's peace of mind, I must find out who those men were. Double, you say? Do they have any to start with, there's that strange plant they were carrying around. I've never seen anything like Oh, is that Machuba? The trackers might be able to help. Ooh. They live out in the wild. Ooh. I want to go to those guys anyway, because I've got loads of teeth. Like, so much teeth. So if anything, that'd be a good place to go. But I might come down around here first. So we'll see. We've got such a, like an assortment of food. If there was like an ability where it was like, if you give like so many variations of food types, you got like a bonus, that'd be kind of nice. I did get the influence I was kind of looking for, though. So, more kid me. I got a figurine of a man, once again. Uh, I don't think I've got anything else I can... Oh, no, I do. I do. Two. That's fine. What's up, Ela? Oh, jeez. Wedding through filth for such slim pickings. We're wasting our time with this rat nest. There must be easier, much less disgusting ways to become rich. I mean, we did the rat nest like three days ago, buddy. Express concert? No. Beg St. Giroux to never go back. Willpower reduced by two. Really? Prepare the group to tackle the rat nests more efficiently. Verminator. Damage against plague infested outgrowths increased by 50%. Status effect removed after battling rat infestation. So, it's not going to go away after a rest. It'll just go away after fighting the neck. Oh, you know what? Fine. It'll rip this down, but it will give us something that we can work towards. And it says after doing the next rat infestation, so it shouldn't disappear after we camp. Even if we do decide to, like, camp. So that's cool. That's that's good to know. Let me just put that on there. Let me also just put these on if it lets me. There we go. And let's just crack on. You know what? I've got so many pitons at this point. Why why not just use them, like, all the damn time? I might as well make, like, a billion shortcuts, right? There's literally no harm in doing it. So let me just go... Whoop. There we go. And there we go. The pigs better not attack me. I'm not in the mood right now. I'll grab that. What is this? The Marheim Castle. I mean, I probably could have guessed that, let's be honest. Let's have, a quick, let's have a quick gander. I have no doubt there'll be something going on here. What do you want? The fact that Lord Old Marheim lets me work here proves just how trustworthy I am. If you say so, but I will first... I still need to figure out who to give that skill mastery to. I'm kind of, like, on the fence, if, to be honest. Like, I'm not... There's not, like, something that's standing out that makes me go, Ooh, yeah, I should definitely do that. That's not that good. Um, get rid of that as well. And that, and all this. Uh, decent. What am I on? Two grand! That's the first time we've been on two grand. We're in the money. Oh, oh, yeah, I'll leave it there. I don't want to go any further under. Cool, let's keep, let's keep going. Let's see what's actually at Marheim Castle. Assumingly something? consider my offer. Without our scholars... You are finished. I... The truce is nothing without its vineyards. Not only do you risk a peasant uprising, but you could also lose everything you have, including your broker title. I assume that's bad. In light of your situation, my price is more than reasonable. I am well aware of this, Lady Adra Alazar. But I beg of you, give me more time. The decision must be approved by the broker council. As for myself, I am already engaged. My daughter will not wait forever, just as your farmers won't sit idly while their fields with her. Interesting. You must decide. Hurry, before there are no vineyards left to see. Rockin' hard place, is it? Let's see. Who can I talk to and what can I steal? What's this? Oh, okay. With a bunch of grapes. Can I not talk to anyone else? Inspector? The Northern Kingdom's conversion on the worship of the light is nothing more than political hypocrisy. The wayward servant parable from the saga of St. Jeru, verse 27, is very clear in this matter. Slave owners are to be punished as harshly as murderers. Proponents of his vile practice claim it is condoned by tradition, or by the nature of the slaves themselves, who are said to be criminals repaying a debt equal to their crimes. But what crime can justify enslavement? And yet we've got people who are just who just have slaves in this area. Hello. I am sorry, but I do not have time to see you. I see. The scourge raging through our vineyards is taking up all my attention. By the beast's fangs, where is that apothecary? Uh, you mean the guy that we found dead? 
I feel like there should be more to that. But I'm going to leave you to it. Leave you to your suffering, I guess. I wouldn't mind it helping, but you don't really seem like you want my help. So, good day. That's the trading area, right? I might as well just go find these places. It'll give me a knowledge point, at least. I, I mean, I, could, I guess I could buy, like, another mastery book, but... Eh. We're next. I hope I remember everything. Uh, just like it stabbed in the face. My parents lost everything to the vineyard disease, but to be honest, it's a... Okay, so there's a lot, there's a, there's a big whole disease thing going on with all this vineyard. Is there any hemp? No. You're not bothering me. I just finished eating my mutton stew. What would you like to work on today? A specific skill? A weapon upgrade? Weapon upgrade? I assume that's to do with the weapon alterations. Me. I just finished eating my mutton stew. Respects, not really like interested, really. Skill? A weapon upgrade? So it's 360 for a skill mastery. You know what? I'm going to buy one. Why not? So now we've got two. I'm probably not going to use them this episode. I'd rather get everyone's opinion to see, like... Get, get off me. Get off me with the proboscis. Um, I'd rather get everyone's opinion on whose stuff we want to upgrade more than anything. I think that would be quite useful. Uh, let me grab Explorer, although it's not really going to add all that much. Why are you guys walking further down there? Oh, there's something to inspect. No, stop. Don't go in there. There's something going on. Can I grab that? 14 crowns. It's kind of disappointing, but okay. And there's another thing here. Oh, ooh. Hello. And I thought the arena was much further away. Interesting. All of a sudden, I'm having a change of heart with what I want to do today, because I was going to go and investigate this, but we have just found the arena. Let me just quickly walk up here a little bit to see what's cracking. But I'm, uh, I'm kind of tempted to come and do the arena. I mean, I've found it now. Kind of can't not think about it, you know? Is that the... Right. So I'm guessing this is where Gosenberg is. And how to get to the big city, I imagine. Who can I talk to about that? The city of Gosenberg lends its name. Yep. Oh, you can go through. This checkpoint is within the kingdom of Gosenberg. Oh, so it's not like a passport sort of visa thing going on here, because technically we're already... The Truce province is already part of Gosenberg. Okay, cool. Well, I'm not going to go that way because we've still got a billion things to do in this area. So I don't really want to start a new area on top of that, you know? Okay, screw it. I don't have a swift run around. We're, gonna, we're about to run out of fatigue. Let's just do it. Hello there. My wares are a plenty. But... I am an arena champion. Just not. I'm just not from this arena. I'm not from around here, I guess. Uh, what do you say? Welcome to the local arena. Four fighters, you're not allowed to kill your opponent, that's fine. Uh, so let's see, teams consist of four fighters, we know this. Fight three battles in the road to take on the arena champion. When a fighter has no more health, they do not die, but are instantly taken out of combat. Clouds of poison appear under all the units at the end of each turn. Ugh. So someone with, like, poison resistance would be helpful. But also, doing the damage as much as possible would also be quite helpful. Okay, so, obviously, damage dealer. Then let's go... Hmm. I don't actually know. Let's try this. So we've got Chris, we've got, like, damage. We've got backup. We've got ranged. We've got shielding. Let's see how this goes. No requirement. All opponents... All companions... Opponents must move. Okay, so it appears... Right. I see. I see, I see, I see. So you're gonna move anyway. Oh, you've got that crazy, like, billhook bullshittery. Can I shoot all three of you where you are? It's a solid maybe, I guess. Well, actually, hang on. Hang about, hang about, hang about, hang about. Woof. Okay, shot the wrong person, but they're out of combat, so... Sure, whatever. Maybe pull back a little bit so you don't get caught by that guy. Who's probably going to harp, pull someone in. Yo, that's a big mistake. I'm just I'm just telling you. It's a big mistake. Right, who's next? So, technically I haven't moved. So, I do need to do uh, that. I guess you, everyone's going to get poisoned anyway. So, if we go like here... Lock them down. Just for now. And then if we go, like, super mega protection, that'll keep you going, at least. This guy's probably gonna come in and hit you, let's be honest. One is fine. 
Two's also fine. Don't worry. Got it handled. Maybe. Who's next? Johnny Harpooner, is it? Well, let's get here. Oh, actually, let's get... Um, yeah, let's get there. And then if we stab, 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 stab. Ooh, even, relationships can even go up in the arena. That I do like. Right, and you're out, mate. See you later, buddy. Get out of here. And crack on. And now, it's on to main event. Now, how much damage are you going to do in your first hit attack? That's very fair. <laughs> now, do you think you could do enough damage to take this person out before we actually have to deal with the poison? No, but kind of close. I'll live with it. Okay, poison's not idea. Mira must be engaged in combat at the end of the round. I mean, she already is, so... Eh? That should be fine. Let's just get out of the way at poison. Crack on. Two health. Two bloody health. You're killing me, Smalls. Get out of here. Bye. That was 26 damage sound to you. Technically, that counted, all right? Good stuff. So following your victory to crowd adores you, choose an upgrade for the rest of the companions. But death of an enemy generates two. That's decent. Every time a companion lands a critical hit, they gain rage. You know what? Alertness. Screw it. Because we do hit crits a lot. Plague rats were unleashed. Ugh. Why? I don't think I need to really do much. I mean, I could technically collect more Valor points, but do I technically get them? Guess we'll see. We're already at max Valor points, so I don't know if they'd give us even more. I doubt it. Max Valor. So Adonis must take no damage. Cool. Can I switch him with, like, someone else? That'll do. I'll take it. So that's a poison trap, and then rats are just going to... God, this place is disgusting, isn't it? Don't quite know how I feel about it. It'd be right. Right. If you could see who play, let's get in there. It's going to be a bit of a mess anyway, so don't worry about it. Uh, yes, do that. You might as well. I'm going to be getting points out in a wazoo, most like, more than likely. Go on, do your thing. Fine. I'm still going to get poisoned regardless, but I'll live. Uh, Ela, if you can move, I'd say about here. That should be enough to shoot them both, I think. That bow is, like, so good. No crits, but I'll take the, uh, biggie damage. Let's get over there. You gonna come in? You gonna actually hook him away from... Why would you do that, you dumbass? You're so silly, why? Fine. Just to confirm, that was incredibly dumb of you to do. Get out of here. Can I still move in and do some damage without getting poisoned, right? Hot damn, can I? Can I? The only question is now, I'm not going to be able to get much further in, so let's just stay out of that zone. Radonis, don't stand on any traps if you can. Try your best. Here comes the crits, and here comes the lineup. Unfortunately, you're only going to hit one of them. But you know what? That's okay. Careful. Not technically injured, so that's fine. Mid crowd happy. All companions must move. I guess I can live with that. Let me just... Oh, God. This is so much poison. Get out of here, scum sucker. The rats are going to be slightly problematic, but... Oh, you son of a bitch. Come on. Go down. Oh, well. That's happened. It's all right. Don't worry. What are rats, really? Just an inconvenience, that's all. Do I have to kill the rats as well? I don't know if I have to. No, I don't. Okay. Sound, that's fine. Every time a companion is attacked, they gain fury. Oh, someone got, someone got brave as well. All the enemies start about Done. Pressure. A Stinred one said, pressure. Okay, let's go for the health. Uh, let's go for the healing. Ela's good. I mean, I'll get the point, but it's not really going to add anything, is it? Okay. What's going on there? Each companion must end their turn next to an ally. 
Why is there a plague ridden just here? Let me just consider this. Sorry. I think that's gonna happen anyway. Oh yeah, there's the vulnerability, baby. And you are out of here. Good start. Now I could just let's go stand there. I mean we're all poisoned anyway, so meh. Don't do it! You're a son of a bitch. I bet nobody likes you at school. Okay. You're next. Fine, whatever. Krista, come over here, please. I need to go, come and deal with something. Don't stand on the trap. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't think you'd survive 96 damage. That'd be weird if you did. Uh, let's just do this. Might as well. I haven't used Audley in absolute ages. Right, we're fine for the requirements. That's all right. Bit rude, but I... Fenris has had worse. He can handle it just fine. He's re Now, Rodonis, if you want to come here, don't stand on traps. Ah, nice. Very good. You love it when that happens. Abbott! You bastard. Right. Do that. He's probably going to move and attack Krista, maybe? In interesting ability she just threw out there. Wasn't expecting that, but fair play. And you're next to each other as well. Let's bump up the defensive for literally everyone. We should be all right. Where is the Plague Ridden going to go? And does it attack them or does it just attack me? I think it'd be, it'd be a little bit unfair if it just attacks me, but hey, whatever. Each companion must end their turn next to an enemy. Uh, yeah, okay. I think I could probably do that. Oh, God, there's so much poison everywhere. Leave it out, would you? So, no, I might accidentally kill the enemy instead of uh, being next to them. We'll see. Right, you're out of here, broski. See you later. Have fun on the sidelines. Yeah, dick. Oh, actually, come here, you. Seal the deal. Can we get out of this plague-ridden infestation cesspool now, please? I don't like it in here. Okay, great. Um, increased damage for critical hits. That's good. Every time a companion ends their turn without dealing da- Nah. Nah. We're doing this. Without dealing damage. Who do you think we are, mate? Right, the health is going to be a problem, but it's fine. Uh, put your armor up. Uh, put yours up as well. Two valor points is fine. Shame you can't, like, use your heal to then heal. You know? It's fine. Right, let's see what this champion is. Okay, I mean, it's still Plague Ridden. Do not attack the same unit twice. I mean, I kind of need to. It's smart. Yeah, yeah, okay. I don't like that, but okay. Saying that, do I need the requirement? I, I don't need the reward. I've got all the valor points in the world. Who cares? You know? What are they going to do if I don't follow their rules? Eh? Oh, I'll be a little bit sad if I didn't follow the rules. Whatever. Prime me a river. Kind of need Femris for this big, big kahuna guy, to be honest. Because he's probably going to do something absolutely insane in a second. Consumes all poison applied to increase damage by 25%. Deals 11 damage to the target. Oh, it might not be so bad. It might, might not be so bad. Let me get up, up front here. Boom, baby. And then, why not? If not, why not? Okay. That's fine. We're already through to its health. Much more. Ow. Oh. Really? You're a champion? Really? You sure? 100%? Like, 100% sure. Hmm. Okay. If you say so. Oh, I can't bring his health back above what it was at the start of the fight. Fine. Meanwhile... We got this to deal with, but that's all right. There was no bad thing for not following through, right? Haha, <laughs> following through. No, there's a lot more rats and stuff. Fenris must not move. I mean, he kind of can't anyway, so uh, that's fine. Ow. It's not why I technically meant to press, but all right. Can we just kill these? Okay, we can kill the Plague Ridden, that's fine. 
We don't seem too fussed about killing those things. Sorry, how much damage? Woof. Or, or eek. From a rat perspective, I guess. Uh, Rodanus, do you want to do your thing? Look, smart, buddy. I was expecting a lot more from you, but uh, you really disappointed me. Bye. Get out. This arena is ours. The D's hurters, baby. Congratulations. You are now the reigning champions of the arena. Thanks. As the rules dictate, you can walk away with the weapon of the previous champion, Smot. I'm assuming it's a good knife. If get you Viper. Want to fight again, get ready for an even greater challenge. Now but surely Smot, it's called Smot's Arena. Surely he was the greatest challenge, right? Unless Smot is secretly not the real boss of the area. Toxic Blade Viper. Toxic Blade Skill. Now, is that going to be better than what Maul has? It's so much worse. Wow. That sucks. I mean, it says upgradable, so I can technically fix it. Let me have a look at scores. Also not great. Also not great. Um, okay, well. I will try and upgrade that in, like, camp or when we're at, like, a blacksmith or whatever, because that's not really doing it for me. It is a great honor for me to offer you my way. So I can buy skill mastery ones here as well. There's also poultices, which isn't too bad. Resist bleeding. Incendiary flask. You know, all these are so cheap. I'm just going to buy them all. Hmm, maybe I can steal them. Bad to the bone. Sorry, what? 6215. Fine. Bad to the bone. Is what I was going to say. Let me just uh, unlock these real quickly. And then... Get that as well. Why not? In preparation. Get the poultice. I'll get the fireproof ointment. There we go. There's a lot of stuff that Ela can discover with knowledge now. So I think I think that was definitely worth it. Uh, is there anything else I can buy from you? It is a great honor. Just skill masteries, but nah, whatever. And then this is just like the hard Smart version, right? Available and wants a rematch. But I only get money for it, so there's not really much point. And I'm going to have to upgrade the knife anyway, because the knife was quite disappointing quite a disappointment. We've almost got the power and glory though, so that's decent enough. Uh, I think we've still got time to go, let's get out of here. Let's just get out of here. And also, got a camp. Well, the life of having that, like, 2,000 crowns was nice and fleeting, wasn't it? It's now gone forever. But, still, it's there. Right, I'm gonna put you in there. We'll see if we can do some upgrades on that at some point. It might get a bit better. It might not. It might get, it'll probably be better enough that we can actually, actually you know, utilize it, but... There's no point doing that. That's a waste of that's a waste of food, and we don't waste food around here. Or uh, Yarman will beat you up. I mean, that's probably par for course, seeing as you know, a lot of people already don't really like him. So let's keep going. Right, let's keep going. Where are we? Can I technically go down like this way? We just seem to be. No, I don't want to fight walls right now. Go away. I'll leave you alone if you leave me alone. How, how's that? I'm assuming that's the big bad wolf. I I'm gonna see if I can capture him. Let me quickly just go to the fishery. Hey up. It's strange. I thought I saw something shining in the water. That's all you had to say, right? Rolf, off you go, buddy. Get fishing. What's it gonna be now? I have that issue, something I've got to go collect on like the shore, but what was it? Uh chest? Oh, I need an ornate key. Ah. Okay. My brother has gone missing. He went to visit a friend in the Vitruvian jail too. Now I wonder if that brother has the key to this chest. I could maybe imagine. I can't believe it. They've been living on a chest this whole time. I, I don't know who they are or who this is, but okay, yeah, but I have no key, buddy. If you have it, that would be great. I won't share any of it with you though, so um yeah, if you give me the key, I'm I'm not sharing. Just saying. Well, I guess I'll go talk to the wolf. I say talk to the wolf. Probably have to go fight it and, and maybe, like, wrangle it. But capture the wolf, I will. The wolf may not be very large, but does seem to have eaten more than its fill on too many occasions. Around its neck is a little tag that reads Buddy. Try to capture Buddy. Let's go. This is going to feel mean. Surely this isn't the white wolf. He's like a... He is an alpha. But I wouldn't say he's the white wolf that I remember. Unless this is, like, a second wolf that we just so, so happen to find. Stop resisting! Don't... I don't want to risk killing him. Okay, Rolf, don't! 
Rolf. Rolf. Why? <laughs> it didn't do anything wrong, and you- Oh, man. Alright, well, everybody, everybody look at Rolf and shame him. Shame. Shame, Rolf. You had to repost and kill the alpha. I'm, I'm still under the impression that, that might not be the wolf, though. I feel like it was actually, like, a full-on big white wolf that you find on the beach. But that was too, like, coincidental that that had to be it. But uh, Rolf couldn't say no for an answer, so he butchered it with a uh, repost. So that went really well. Oh, we're on location. So we've done 19 out of 20. I think there's probably, like, a few more, like, kicking around up here, I would imagine. There's definitely, like, the trackers thing here. We have missed, like, a line that goes through it. So there's probably, like, two or three things here, following by, like, a few more things up here, I'd imagine. Um, I need to go back down there to do the gladi gladiator thing. I guess I can go to the slave camp at some point, and I need to get the key from that, but I imagine that's somewhere else. I think the jail is also up here somewhere, so that'd be quite good to go to, because I remember there being an interesting, like, mission-y thing around uh, there. And then he's also just finding and talking to the tracks to deal that, which will put us up to, like, 40. And then I guess I'll go to the poisoners and put it up to, like, 60, I guess. Um, and then maybe we do this next time as well. But okay, all right. We did the arena. We're much further in now. A little bit sad for that wolf had to get absolutely butchered, but you know, if the captain, whatever the captain says goes, apparently. Um, his word is law, or his sword is law, apparently. I'm just going to quickly run around here. Am I stuck on something? No. Ah, there's the bandit camp. Can I unlock it from here? Mm, don't want to unlock it from here? No? Okay, fine. I'm actually kind of stuck up at this point. That's fine. Um, shame I can't just build a bridge. This isn't, you know, that sort of game, I guess. And, uh... Also, you know, the last time we had a bridge, the insane abbot blew it up. So, there is that. We didn't blow it up. We cut it down. Similar thing. Anyway, I think I'll probably keep it kind of a bit shorter and leave it there for today. Next episode, we will kind of go back to a lot of places we've been to already. And just, like, tick, tick the boxes, as it were. Um, I am going to go to this beach, just on the off chance there is another wolf. I don't think there is. Though. I think that was the wolf. Um, and then go here, tick that off, sort out of that, come back here go down around here, also go to the jail, and then maybe end at the ruins sort of thing. So in that way, we sort of cover out this part of the area and this part of the area. And that way, we'll probably do like 60 out of 100 as well, which would be pretty decent. We might be able to like rinse the Vitruz province pretty quickly compared to like the county of, Ar county of Artez, just because we are much higher level than this area is definitely similar to the county of Artez. So we won't be struggling as much. So compared to having to take like, I don't know, 11 episodes to deal with, it's probably going to take like six or seven, maybe. And then we'll sort of figure out where to go next. Maybe we go up to Big Gosenberg. Maybe we go down here. Let's not think about where we're going to go next when we're not even like a third of the way to doing this. But I will leave it there for today. I do need to do a few upgrades and maybe build some stuff at the start of the next episode. And it would be nice to put out that help wanted thing. And maybe get the archer now that we have the influence to do so. I'm not going to spend any just to be playing it safe a bit by the start of the next episode. And see if we can get someone else hired in. And then we'll be at our big 20, which uh, is quite impressive. And we'll see how that does for our food. But 50 consumption isn't bad, even with like an extra person. What's the average? What do you eat? Three. To so like 53, 54 maybe. Yeah, so that won't be too bad even if we get like another person. So yeah, as always, enjoy this episode. Feel free to check out the rest of the channel. Show us more than you enjoy. Feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell. See you next time going out with the Dees Herters in War Tales. Can't wait till then. Feel free to join the Northern Discord and get involved in the conversation. Ciao for now, guys and girls. Until next time.